everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am so excited for today's video because I get to share something that I do throughout the year and I do share it with you guys, but this is one of those videos that you want to share with your loved ones and say, hey, this is what I want for Christmas. <laughs> Angelina said that this is going to up my upcycle game and I need all of these things. <laughs> and if you just want to gift yourself, which I am all for because I do it myself, then this will be a great guide for you. We're talking about 10 things that are going to take your upcycle game to the next level. And really it's just 10 things that I didn't know make sense like they make sense for me so let's get right into it all right so these are in no particular order but we're gonna start off with something i just got hit to last year and it is clips i don't know what took me so long but these little puppies say for instance you're doing a hem or you're just doing a shallow seam then just clip them with these instead of pinning because there's a couple of reasons one you won't put a hole in your fabric especially like if you're doing leather or some other fabrics like silk you putting a pin in it may damage it and if you put the pin in the wrong place it may be seen after your finished garment is done so these little babies prevent you from harming your garments and in some cases I just find them way more convenient than adding pins and I don't prick myself y'all know I do that quite often Ouch. so <laughs> yes these little babies do come in quite handy um I purchased mine from Amazon and I didn't say that all the things that I am mentioning I will have them linked in the description box they are linked on Amazon um, because I am an Amazon affiliate if you purchase through me I get pennies on the dollar you don't pay any more but it just helps support this channel however if you don't want to do that just go to Google put in the name that you see down in the description box and I'm sure you will find them elsewhere all right so next up is this deep healer I guess you know when you buy an old sweater or you have an old sweater and it's been through the wash and it's seen better days even so for sweatshirts and it gets those little peels on it this is a razor to take them off yes it does that it is amazing Amazing. And specifically for us thrifters, if you ever see a sweater at the thrift store and you're like, oh my gosh, it, it, it's, it shouldn't be here. I love it, but ah, it's got those peels. It makes it look old. This little thing will give that sweater, that sweatshirt, a new life. These things are like $12.99. Um, it uses batteries. It has the setting where you can put it on if you're doing a really fuzzy sweater and you don't want it to cut close, or if you doing something more matte and you want it to cut close, then you can um, change the levels. I think it has three settings you can see here on the top. And then when you're ready to take your dust out, I don't even want to open it up because it is full of, it's full of dust. <laughs> It's full of dust. I got dust going everywhere. I use it so often, uh, um, yeah, on clothes, thrift clothes, because, you know, a lot of times, you know, they're not in brand new condition, but you can make them look just like new with one of these. All right, so next up is a flexible curved ruler. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about this thing. I have had this thing for a long time. Um, I got it in architecture school. It's something that we use when we were hand drawing. I don't even think architecture students hand draw anymore, but um, it was something that we used and I've started using it for my upcycles. I find it a lot easier when I'm upcycling because the curves are arbitrary. They're not necessarily a specific, you know, angle and degree and all of that kind of stuff. Circumference, diameter. They're just kind of like, yeah, let's do a curve that looks like this, you know? And so <laughs> this is, definitely helpful for me to actually make that curve and then if I want to move like okay cut strips that are the same curve then I can take that curve and then you know move it up and make more of that curve so yes a lot of you have been asking me about this it is called a flexible curved ruler so you can look that up or look in the description box for the um, link to that and the ones that I've been seeing now because this one is super old but the ones that you purchase now have a ruler on the edge which I'm sure is super super helpful because then you can make measure your curve oh that's amazing for like making patterns your own pattern making and stuff like that so yes i would definitely recommend this for upcycling it really really just makes sense all right so next up are seam rippers yes this is a no-brainer if you have ever thought to yourself oh i have a family member a wife a loved one who likes to sew or likes to upcycle think they have to deconstruct those clothes 
this is a no-brainer stocking stuffers for your upcycle or sew it and i'm actually going to be doing a video on all the different tools that you can seam rip with and how to use them but get some of these and this is a new one a new style that i have been using um i can't remember the exact name of it i will put it in the description box below but they're all different types of seam rippers that you can use to um this one specifically is really good for if you're trying to seam rip anything that has a surged edge like you know inside the seam the edge is also or the seam is also surged get you one of these and then these of course there's different ways you can use these to make it faster you guys know a lot of time on the channel i just cut stuff but there are definitely times when you want to seam rip and if you get the right tool for the job you will be much more willing to actually sit and do it because it makes the job faster than just using this in the way that i used to use is like picking each stitch every single you know nobody wants to do that so yeah and you definitely want to have multiples of these i know my husband used to never understand why you know whenever i go to the fabric store or whatever just pick up a seam ripper for one thing sometimes we lose them but on the other hand i think you can never have too many of these so don't even think about whether that person needs it throwing in a couple of these in their gift would just be like ah they were thinking they know <laughs> all right so next up i have sewing shears oh. <laughs> and i actually everything else i purchased with my own money this is the only thing that I, in this video that i didn't purchase with my own money but i was not prompted i was, actually i was trying to get the company to do a sponsored video but i'm going to share them with you guys just simply because i really do like them and i think that this or any other type of official fabric shear is a good investment for yourself or your loved one who is a sewist or upcycler um first i have and they're not still in the box but i have the little shears they're like a little rainbow um style shear or rainbow finish shear or not shear a snip but yeah you actually put your middle finger in them and just snip away all right so let's get into the shears this is the matte black and this is the midnight edition taylor shear you can actually also get them engraved so these would be amazing for um you know as a gift but i'm going to open them i just put them in the box for this video i actually still have the box for some odd reason but this is the matte black these are actually my favorite and i'm gonna show you guys these they're just like really uh just amazing 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 color um of course i really wanted them to have some gold ones because you guys know how i am about my gold scissors and i did not want to upgrade from my gold scissors but let me tell you about these and like the gingham ones i'm sure um there's another company that a lot of people were buying recently it sounds kind of like gingham I can't remember but um these will cut through anything and so my only advice would be to be careful you guys saw in last video i cut right through that blazer and it didn't even hesitate until i was like wait i think that was a little bit of an extra layer snip right through it and it wasn't even up on the end it was on the tip now you know most scissors when you get to the tip they're not cutting through layers these are cutting through layers on the tip so um yes you have to be careful with these but in the same sense though if you are a layer layers cutter if you need to cut layers that's like some asmr <laughs> But yes, these are the tools for the job. And then they also have the Midnight um, Edition Taylor Shears. And these are not matte. They're black, but they're not matte. These I think of would be in at school. Like if you went to fashion design school, I just, for me, I just think of like these would be the scissors that they would have at the school. But yes, these are amazing too. Like yeah <laughs> that's a tool it's not just a scissor that is a tool so i love them both these i would use to cut more of my delicate fabrics and like i said these layers and layers all day every day all right so next up i have twin needles this is something that you, whoever you're buying for probably never even thought about and they may not even know it may be something they need but 
I recently discovered that I can use these on my regular sewing machine. I just was able to thread another thread the same way I threaded the other thread and put it through the second needle. And it did one, you know those double stitches that you see on the flat fell seam on jeans on the side of you down your jean leg? It does that on a regular sewing machine. So yes, for a couple bucks, yes, a couple bucks, you can add just so much dimension to what you can do on your sewing machine. And I absolutely love that. Didn't have to use any other stitch on my machine other than just my straight stitch. So I definitely think that this is worth a try for you guys to just try on your regular sewing machine. Now some computerized machines do have a special setting to use a twin needle. So just check to see if you have to use a special stitch. But for my brother strong and tough, all I needed was this. All right, so the next thing that just makes sense for a lot of people, not necessarily everyone, but I think it is something to consider is adding light to your sewing machine. This is something that I shared with you guys maybe a month or so ago. I added a light strip to my brother strong and tough just because I felt like the little pin light, it's like one little LED wasn't giving casting enough light overall. It was just right pin right where the needle was. And so I wanted the light to just be over that area where I was sewing and lo and behold, I found this little, what is $9.99 or $14.99 light strip and it is holding up so well. And even people in the comments were saying that it had, they've had it for over a year for years and the sticky has not come unstuck. That was my biggest concern that the sticky would come unstuck. It has not come unstuck. It works like a charm. And I didn't even know mine has a dimmer as well. They do advertise a more expensive one that has a dimmer, but for the normal normal, regular, low price, mine has a dimmer as well and it is a very helpful tool. All right, so next up is a good steam iron. I'm gonna tell you guys something. I have never been an expensive iron buyer and I mean like I'm buying the cheapest iron. And I don't know why I've never thought of an iron as a tool, like, you know, the better tool you get you know, the better you'll be able to do it just because I guess because I don't particularly care for ironing. But when it comes to sewing, I know, like the true sewist at heart, I annoy you guys to no end if I don't iron out everything before I start cutting and everything like that. But the truth is, is that for me, with my cheap little iron, it wouldn't have made a whole lot of difference until now. And I'm telling you, I'm not saying this particular brand, but get you guys a good steam iron. So this T fall um, cost $38. And like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, I, I just can't bring myself to spend a hundred dollars on iron. But I promise you when I'm trying to get that professional finish and I'm trying to like really just, I want to iron just to start really quickly. As soon as I plug it in and go on about my iron and actually iron it, and not have to press with all my might, all my strength, then yes, I it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. So what you want to look for in your iron is you want to look for the number of holes, not just number of circles, because a lot of iron companies put circles there and there's not an actual hole, it's just a fake hole. Or they'll put a little dimple there and it's not an actual hole. So I know the Rowenta ones have, I think 400, I think they have 400 holes in them. And that's because you want as much steam to come out as possible to press your clothes. It's gonna press it really fast and it's gonna press it like I wanted that store finish. And I'll show you guys right here, the blazer from the last video, I was able to like press a whole blazer. It pressed it so well and that press was in there. And so I was just so like excited. Now when it's time for me to iron, I don't even fuss about it because I know that I have a tool that's actually gonna work. And so yes, the it, holds plenty of water and then it also has like the anti-calc thing where you can take the stuff that's calcified from your water um you use regular tap water no bottled water anything like that um they actually say don't use bottled water actually just use your tap water unless you have hard water and just out of the faucet put it in here and keep going and this is exactly what i was looking for there are other professional sewist um irons steam irons that you can purchase I researched and looked into them. There's one that has to have a tank that hangs over whatever you're sewing. I was like, no, nah, that sounds like too much for me at the current moment. And so I think where I am right now in my sewing journey, in my upcycling journey, this is the perfect tool for the job. So I am super excited to have it. All right, so let's 
let's get into slightly more expensive gifts. <laughs> uh, whether you're gifting yourself or you're asking for something from someone else, um, if you do not have a serger, it may be the right time to get one. Um, and if you want guys want to know, you guys have been asking me to review sergers and how to use sergers. I will be reviewing three sergers. Yes, three barely inexpensive sergers. I'm going to be reviewing them very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. You don't want to miss that. It will be coming out soon. So you're probably thinking like, okay, well, why do I need a serger? You don't necessarily need, need one, but I'm going to tell you it's very convenient when you're finishing your edges um, of your seams and different things like that, trying to keep things from fraying. It's just one of those things when I finally decided that I wanted to get one, I was just so happy that I did. This particular one is the Brother 1034D. Um, Brother does now have a strong and tough version of this. Now I have heard that people say that the 1034D is better. So um, I guess I lucked up. When I bought it, it was $400. And this has been um, at least maybe eight years ago. But now it's currently, I believe, $299. So that's really, really good for everybody, you know, who's looking for one now. So yes this thing sews through most things that I needed to go through I had don't have any complaints about it and it's super easy to thread so um, yeah I would look for that in the comments in the reviews of the surgery that you're looking for look to see if it's going what it's going to sew through and um, is it easy to thread because for me what turned me off of sergers was how hard they were to thread. When I was growing up, the serger that my mom had was so hard to thread and I would just never use it. So this one is relatively easy to thread. Now, if you've never had a serger, you're automatically gonna think that it's harder to thread than a regular sewing machine. Every single serger is harder to thread than a regular sewing machine. But as far as sergers, this is the easiest that I've seen. And now they're starting to come out with more that thread like this. So if you see the ones that thread on the front um those are the ones that in my opinion that are easier um to thread all right so let's talk about something that would just skyrocket your up cycles yes this is yeah this is definitely one of those like guilty pleasures and it's something i guilty gifted myself this is the silhouette cameo 4 i hope i said that right um but yes it's the latest one that came out i absolutely this is yeah this is a game changer for me to be able to screen print on existing garments because like for me like you guys know i have merch down below those are virgin materials probably like those t-shirts are like fast fashion like cheap non-ethical um and I, that just really bugs me and so eventually i want my merch as well as blueprint signature to all come from me and to all be sustainable and all you know be reclaimed garments and stuff like that but i'm not able to do that until now so think about that if you love putting graphics on your upcycle clothes um you want to be able to make your own t-shirt and if you guys want a tutorial on how to screen print with the silhouette or just a tutorial on the silhouette in general definitely let me know in the comments i will gladly share it with you guys if you're interested but yes i use this to make the screen and then i screen print so yes i and and i also use it to put my logo on my boxes I, I use it a ton in my marketing material and different things like that so um yes this is definitely a game changer if you get an opportunity to ask somebody for one of these puppies you'll thank me you'll thank me you'll thank me later <laughs> okay so i picked this particular one because you don't necessarily need to use the mats anymore i use it strictly with the rolls and everybody that i talked to said that they hate that the mats become unsticky so quickly and so i was just turned off by the mats so when i found out that this one could just use a roll and just feed it in i was like okay that's the last obstacle has been taken out of the way i have no excuse not to get it so i went ahead 
ahead and got it and I'm super excited that I did. So yes, that's why I picked this particular one over the Cricut or even previous models. You know, normally I don't care about getting a previous model, especially if it's cheaper, but that's the reason why I got the brand new new um, that just, well, it didn't just come out, but the newest that came out. So yeah, do your research, find out exactly what you need it to do and then pick, you know, between the silhouette, the brother, scan and cut, the uh, Cricut and, you know, get the best one for what you want to do. All right. So the last thing I want to tell you guys about is a dress form. And I know, I know you never see me use a dress form on my videos. And a lot, I get this a lot. Why don't you just buy a dress form? I have two dress forms. I don't use them because it is a luxury as all of these things in this video are luxuries. If you cannot afford them, it does not mean you can't start sewing and it does not mean you can't start upcycling. However, as we go along, we do get interested in upping our game and getting some tools, you know, that just help us along the way. And I, I just want to share these, all of these tools with you guys for that purpose. But dress forms are very helpful. They are definitely helpful. And the reason why people always tell me, you should get a dress form is because I'm always sticking myself, trying to pin in the back and I'm all scrunched up in the, ah, shoot. Whew one of those days arms behind me um so yes they're very helpful for that reason i do have a video about when i got these two um their names are whitley and jaleesa and um i got one i purchased it from joannefabrics.com i used my 60 percent off uh, coupon if you know anything about joann's you know use a coupon so i was able to get this for right around 100 and then when i got this one i realized that it was a little bit it was like right on the borderline a little bit too big for me and so I needed a small one and my mom came in clutch and she packed this one in a suitcase and flew to Houston and delivered it to me so thank you mom <laughs> uh, my mom is amazing and she did teach me how to sew so she's always got exactly what I need so now I do have two dress ones and I use them often for blueprint signature I use them when I'm sewing for other people they come in clutch amazing because I can't put it on myself so as when I'm sewing for myself I typically just use myself but for other people these are amazing and they're definitely helpful for yourself as well because then you can stand back and see what it looks like you know versus having it on you and trying to pin and stuff like that so yes if you think that this will be helpful definitely ask for these as a gift all right so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video definitely let me know if I missed anything what's on your upcycling and sewing list your sewing Christmas list birthday list gift list put it down in the comments below what helped you to level up your upside and your sewing help everybody else put it in the comments below and if you love sewing product reviews i have a ton and they're right here for you to watch right now right after this one and if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye